So here's a quick demonstration on how to create graphing questions in Edge Elastic. And I'll show three different question types. We'll start with something fairly basic, which is polygons, and then we'll go to linear equality, inequalities, and finally conic sections. So these questions I've already created, but I'll show you how to create them from scratch. First, let's look at these from a student perspective. So we'll view it as a student. So here's our first question. Uh, as a student, we'll have to enter it. And I'll point out that we have many articles about graphing and how to do things in graphing. If you go to edgeelastic.zendesk.com and search for graphing, you can find out more. So here's how the first question looks. The next question, our linear equalities, uh, is here. And notice there are different drawing tools. Finally, we have our conic section question. And notice I've added a, additional drawing tools here, including parabola. There's also a scratch pad students can use if you want them to show more work. OK, so let's look at how these questions are created. So we'll go into the polygons question. And I will show it from an authoring perspective. So here I'm in creation mode where I'm authoring a new question or item. So I've already created this, but let's uh, create it from scratch. So we need to have this polygon drawing item. The way you get that is through this plus icon here where you can add the drawing objects here. So and I selected polygon. So let's go and recreate this polygon. So I'll select polygon mode and I'll click the three points that I want to be part of the polygon and click back on A when done. So here I've created the correct answer. Let's look at how this works in preview mode. So this is how a student would see it. Now the student, let's say they draw their polygon and their polygon is like that, which is not correct. Let's see what happens when we grade it. Check answer, incorrect. We can also show the answer and the answer part that's shown is at the bottom. So here's an example of how to author a basic question on graphing. And it's under this menu here, which is the item bank, and you create a new item. But I'm showing you questions I've already created. So let's go back and look at the other questions. So here we have an inequality and y greater than x. When we're creating this question, we need to include these other items, the dashed and the area. And the area was used to select the area above the line. Here's the line. And the dashed I used to create the line. So if we do this from scratch, I'll create the line. Here's the line, and then I'll make it dashed, which means y not equal to x, and then I'll select the area. So here I've created the correct answer for this question. And now if we go, let's save this, and we'll go into the next question, the conic section. Now notice here I've added other drawing tools. There's a ellipse circle parabola. There's different parabola modes as well. So if you want to learn about these, then go to the drawing tools and uh, I mean the Zendesk documentation. So here's how this looks. And if you want to add other modes, parabola here with directrix, here's a parabola joined, drawn by two points. You can create polynomials. You can also create other functions here. You can have y minus 1 over x plus 1 and plot that. And you can have multiple shapes at the same time. You can do other things with background objects. This is busy uh, graphing. There it is on top of the circle. So you can have many shapes and graph controls are here and background images. Uh, okay, it's hidden under there. So that's all I was going to show. And uh, look again at the Zendesk documentation if you want to see examples of more graphing, which I gave here in this link. And here you can search for graphing and see things, parabolas, polynomials, other and advanced graphing topics. Here we have how to change the grid and uh, labeling. And there's more graphing features that are coming down the road in the next few weeks. So check back often. You'll be able to see checks on lines and segments. You can also draw arrays, uh, number lines, all kinds of things. Thanks.